Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 25th, 2020. Well, yesterday we had another frustrating day where we get that pre market pump up, and then we get all kinds of folks to chase in and rush and rush and rush. And then we reach up there and we get close to price resistance levels in the chart. And then here come the bears and the selling comes back in and we push back down. So kind of an uncomfortable market right now with some pretty darn ugly pop and drops where we pop up in the morning and push back, pop up in the morning, push back, pop up in the morning. Um, and well, I, I'm sorry, this is today's opening candle. So we've just experienced some of these pop and drop patterns that are very, very frustrating. And yesterday we covered more than 600 points in the Dow between the um, top end and, and then the sell off at the end of the day. Now, unfortunately, we created some additional technical damage in um, some of the indexes, but let's take a look at the Dow first. First off, our Dow trend um, remains intact. We're continuing to hold on to that downtrend. But as we continue to uh, seesaw back and forth with this lack of momentum, I'm beginning to worry that we really could pull back here and complete this pullback into the support levels in the Dow. The, the weight of that is really starting to pull. So kind of keep that in mind. Markets like to respond off of support levels and trend levels. And um, kind of floating out here in midair right now in the Dow, we may need um, that additional pullback to uh, finally finish up this move and push back uh, to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Unfortunately, that pullback could still be relatively painful. I'm gonna jump to the Dow to measure the points um, from our close yesterday to this price support, still another 400 points lower. And if we were to pull down into the bigger level of support, um, about 750 points lower. So pretty substantial pullback if um, that continues. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now in the SPY, we actually created a little more technical damage yesterday in the move. Notice that we continue to try and rally back up and challenge this support break in the chart. We keep trying to pump it up and pump it up, um, but we have been unable to get through there. And if you notice, um, these wicks right in here are almost all lined up. Um, we see where those sellers come in and they're popping in here as we push back up into that resistance level. Those sellers jump back on. But unfortunately, yesterday we saw a close where um, every, every day we've been pushing up, but notice that we're making a little bit lower closes and yesterday we dropped down through yesterday's close um, pretty substantially. The good news is that we did not fail. We did not fail the low here. We tested it, we tested it hard, but we didn't really fail that low. This morning, we're trying to see a little bit of follow through here. Um, early in the pre-market, we were getting the pump up. Futures were up, Dow futures were up over 80 points and they were pumping, pumping, pumping again. But it looks like right now we're getting a little bit of selling in that pre-market. Um, and SPY could actually break that price support here this morning. So watch that closely. Again, just a little bit more technical damage here in the chart. And let's take a look at the moving averages. Um, notice that we are so close to our 50 day moving average, it would seem very likely that the SPY at a minimum tests that 50 day moving average before we get that chance of a bounce. And that may be that selling we're seeing this morning. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now that doggone NASDAQ continues to struggle here and it may struggle today as well. Um, if you didn't catch it yesterday, the SEC adopted a new regulation that's going to require um, Chinese companies to hold, be accountable to um, US accounting practices. And if they are not, they, could be delisted. And so 
um, Hong Kong last night, there was a major sell-off in tech. They got hit pretty hard with uh, Baidu selling off, um, uh, Alibaba selling off, several of those JD.com selling off very, very strongly last night. And that could um, obviously trickle over into um, our session today. So watch that closely. The other complication that we have is bond yields are trying to creep up again this morning. And so we'll want to keep an eye on this tech sector. But notice that we continue to make these lower highs in the chart. And as of yesterday, our close yesterday, this big old black candle right here, we have not broken the support um, in that chart just yet. So technically we have not made that new lower low yet um, but we might want to be watching for that possibility today if we can hold this level of price support we can catch a bounce but let me show you this just because we catch a bounce doesn't necessarily mean this becomes a buy remember we keep rallying up hitting these lower lows and we could bounce in here rally right into this downtrend and then continue selling off so kind of keep that in mind be really careful of the chase right now they're really trying to inspire traders to chase in and rush in and then they pull the carpet out from under them so be really careful and then if we take a look at iwm now iwm had a pretty rough day yesterday um selling off strongly and we're down here testing a support level at the close yesterday trying to hold on to that and honestly they broke it just a little bit yesterday um, if i drew that line straight you would see that um, we kind of broke down yesterday just a little tiny bit but we're holding on to price support down here in this area and we've bounced off of that area before notice that we're trying to push down this morning we could be down here testing that level pretty quickly here today we'll see if we can catch a bounce there if that happens to fail i gotta tell you i think the technical damage in these charts continues to grow um, and we have to remember that in any rally back up we ha now have all of this price resistance level that we're going to have to deal with as we try to rally and right now the momentum seems to be um, struggling just a little bit for that bullish side so just be kind of careful let's take a look at the VIX doggone VIX just keeps bouncing around we had that support break here um, we've had it a couple of times where we broke that support but notice that fear just keeps popping back in here and we keep creeping back up still holding around 21 handles here at the close uh, yesterday and if we get some additional selling today we might see that spiking up right now Dow futures have reversed um, they were 80 some points up earlier this morning they're now 80 points down so we could see those futures starting to creep up but we still have some issues that we have to deal with this morning that could change everything um, uh, this morning so let's take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 um, the four week new high new low ratio the good news is that we're pushing down here into this bearish reversal zone and if we get a little bit of selling today we could um, be right down in here in kind of that oversold short-term condition that means that we are getting closer and closer and closer to that potential relief rally or bounce in the market so let's watch carefully for that if we get some additional shoving and pushing to the downside today we may engage that spy 50-day moving average some of those support levels in the charts and then we start to gain a little bit of relief so watch that carefully this morning let's take a look at t2101 now t2101 unfortunately is continuing to rally a little bit as we catch these sell-offs now we're pushing back up here toward this downtrend of this t2101 we're going to want to watch this area pretty closely um, if we start to see some issues here um, we could easily start to see that market breadth uh, pulling back so watch that close let's take a look at our our uh, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar does have a few things that we're going to want to really focus in on this morning first off before the market opens so we've got this volatility we were up more than 80 points in the early pre-market now we're down 
um, more than 80 points um, in the pre-market. So we're whipsawing in the futures here. And we still have a couple of market moving reports this morning that we'll want to keep our eyes on. First, we got GDP. GDP consensus is expecting that to hold up pretty well. So keep a close eye on that. And then of course we have jobless claims. And I don't know why they continue to post our jobless claims shrinking, 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 and then we keep missing and missing and missing on those numbers, but they are relentless at continuing to try and drive those lower um, um, in these consensus uh, numbers. And then we uh, seem to be relentless in actually beating those numbers in actual numbers. So watch that closely. That could move us around. If we happen to come in lower than that number, that would be nice and that could inspire the market higher. So watch that c carefully. We do have a bunch of Fed speakers today, you know, uh, going on. We've got a, a natural gas report that I don't expect to move the market um, at all. Some short term bond options. We do have a seven-year note auction that we want to pay attention to um, later on this afternoon. And then keep in mind, we've got the Fed balance sheet this afternoon as well. And not that, that, not that it matters. Nobody seems to care how much debt the Fed takes on anymore. Um, it doesn't matter. So let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar has a bunch of uh, uh, reports on there, but there really isn't much in there for notable. And we have a considerable, <coughs> excuse me, everyone. We have a considerable number of um, reports that um, are not going to um, likely happen because they're unconfirmed reports in very small tech companies or small cap companies. But I did pull out a few that we might want to take a look at for today. Take a look at BLNK. BLNK might be interesting to watch here today. Um, little retailer. Um, holding in here on some price support area. It's been in a recent downtrend, but watch that. We've got Darden Restaurants um, we'll be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. We had a little bit of a bullish move going on here in the pre-market, so perhaps the report was strong. Keep in mind, we're still dealing with some price resistance in that chart. Then let's take a look at old Momo. Momo might have a little bit of trouble today. Um, even though it could report um, um, reasonably well, we don't know, but it could have trouble with that whole Chinese listing thing um, and accountability um, to U.S. accounting practices. That could be an interesting thing to watch here over the next few days and see how these Chinese companies respond uh, to that. So watch that closely. And then um, we have MOV on the calendar today. Keep a close eye on that. Looks like it tried to perk up this morning apparently on its earnings report, but a bit of a pop and drop going on in that uh, candle here this morning. Watch this price support. If we can hold that, we're in good shape. But if that fails, it could be some trouble here. And last but not least, I have on the list uh, CLDX. Like I say, it's, a lot of these companies are not going to be what you would consider to be market moving companies, but that's what we have right now. And I was looking at tomorrow and I don't think there's anything that even ranks a notable um, mention tomorrow. So kind of winding down here on this quarter's earnings. Um, keep in mind we have this little bit of a wedging pattern here and we'll want to watch that closely. This is one of those that could really uh, take off and go either direction. So keep a close eye. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and, and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember, everyone, that um, every time you click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, it helps those algorithms to um, share these videos with more folks and helps the channel to grow. So I appreciate it when you do that. If you feel the video is worthy, worthy, please do that. And also please share it out there on your social media feed. Hey, I wanted to remind you guys once again that next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options will be hosting an open house you'll be able to come in and visit us for the entire day and uh, spend some time with us um, 
in our trading rooms. So feel free to join us. Go over to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website. Um, the passwords will be removed and you'll be able to come on in to our trading rooms. Also keep in mind, you're going to want to pay attention. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do that because we're going to be giving away a $3,000 Falcon trading computer here very, very soon. So you may want to get yourself registered uh, for that possible win on that computer. So with that, everybody, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But I got to tell you guys, I'm a, I would really caution everyone about trying to do much trading um, in this market right now. It's a very, very dangerous market with these whipsaws and big moves back and forth. And the charts that I'm going to show you are um, more of the, um, shall I say, conservative uh, type charts that you may want to take a look at that could um, provide some nice safety um, in trades. First, let's take a look at um, XLU. Utilities are starting to show some signs of some holding in here. Now, I know rising bond rates um, typically uh, uh, harms utilities, but notice that we may be uh, running to a little bit of safety here in the market. Um, XLU breaking this downtrend, holding that downtrend as support, and you can see those buyers coming in um, off of that support. So keep a close eye in here, maybe a little rest or, or consolidation in here, and we can engage this trend and we may see some upside here in those utilities. So keep a close eye on that. Take a look at some of these um, uh, drug makers. Um, they've struggled here a lot recently, but notice that we're kind of breaking some big downtrends here in Pfizer. Big old downtrend, we're trying to hold that as support. Now I can't tell you that this is going to move up. I will tell you that I do have a bias on this because I am already in this trade, but I'm watching this closely to see if that can perk on through to the upside. I, um, if we take a look right in here, we're holding above our 50 day moving average. We're holding above our 200 day moving average. So we've got a nice little moving average squeeze starting to form up in this area in here. And we'll want to watch that carefully to see if we can push on through. Can't tell you that we will, but you might want to take a look at that. And in the same line, let's take a look at J and J. Johnson & Johnson looking pretty good here, recovering from this sell-off, as you can see, creating this higher low, breaking through some substantial resistance here in the chart. Watch this for a little rest or pullback. There may be some upside opportunity coming in that chart. Take a look at FedEx. FedEx, kind of an interesting pattern. It's been a bit on the choppy side, as you can see, kind of whipping back and forth. But notice we might be starting to reach a point where we could clean up our act here in FedEx, breaking that downtrend and breaking back above some price resistance in the chart. If we can get through there, um, we have that opportunity that this could kind of clean itself up and start moving back to the upside. Keep an eye on um, FedEx. I'm going to bring up um, Coca-Cola today. Now, Coke, I still think, may have some work yet to do um, in this chart, but it continues to manifest itself pretty darn well rising up. And this is one of those consumer defensive packaged foods type area that has been very, very strong here recently. So keep an eye on this. Um, watching right in here, a little bit more rest might be in order but watch that chart. We're also seeing moves in like PepsiCo coming back pretty darn strongly after a rough sell-off. We engage this resistance area and we're gonna have to watch that for a bit to see if we can actually hold. But notice we broke this downtrend again. We wanna wait and see if we can consolidate out here or hold a higher low for that opportunity in PepsiCo. Some of these um, older, simple, um, cheap stock, or not cheap, sh should I say, boring stocks are looking pretty darn good. Let's take a look at Kellogg's. 
Kellogg's here, you, they don't get much more boring than an old Kellogg's company, but as you can see, holding um, this downtrend break, holding it as support and buyers stepping up here. Again, it's the theme of these big divvy payers um, that are really starting to perk up. So we're seeing that safety play coming in. And if we can hold in here, you might want to keep an eye on Kellogg's. And you could say the same for um, Hershey chocolate. You could say the same for uh, Schmuckers. You could say the same for a lot of stocks out there that are doing pretty well along those lines. Take a look at Verizon. Um, Verizon, another big divvy payer trying to break through this bottom, trying to hold the downtrend break. If this holds in here, this is a huge dividend payer. Watch for that opportunity to maybe pick up some trade to the upside here. Um, so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading, great profits. Be safe out there. Remember, just because the market's open doesn't mean we have to trade. Keep that in mind. We don't have to trade. One of our primary jobs as traders and one of the great benefits of being a trader is that we can stand aside when the risk is too high and protect our capital. So remember, if you feel the need to trade every single day, it may be more of a risk addiction than it is a good quality business decision. So kind of keep that in mind and remember, Hey, we can pull back and wait for the market to clean up here a little bit um, and protect our capital and um, do very, very well uh, rather than being chopped up in a market that continues to whip. So be careful in here. I want to wish you all the very best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.